Good evening, fans from Stroh Center. It is BGSU basketball. Tonight, an exhibition game featuring the Falcons of head coach Michael Huger and the Bluffton University Beavers of coach Guy Neal. My name is Todd Walker. It'll be my pleasure to bring you the play-by-play -play descriptions and analysis of tonight's game. Alongside for color commentary and analysis, former BGSU standout Kirk Cowan. Falcons with a 16-16 and -16 mark last year in Coach Huger's third season and some key departures from last year's team as a sophomore guard, a freshman guard, and a freshman big man all left the team. Those being Roderick Caldwell, Nellie Cummings, and Derek Koch. Also, Matt Fox left via graduation. But the Falcons returned their top four scorers from last year and a fifth player that played in all 32 games. So still plenty of experience to go around on this year's club. And for the Bluffton Beavers of Coach Guy Neal, uh, they lost quite a bit as well. They return only two starters from last year's 11 and 15 team, Andrew Renner and Aaron Rich. Casey, as we look at this uh, BGSU outfit for 2018-2019, it's clear that they're going to lean on the same two guys they did last year at the top of their scoring column. That would be DiMaggio Wiggins inside and Justin Turner at the guard spot. You're definitely right. And, and just to touch on, uh, on what you said, it, it, you know, the departure and, and losing a Derek Koch, a, a Roger Caldwell, and a Nelly Cummins, it, you know, that, that's going to hurt a little because those are guys that played significant minutes last year and, and they understood what it took to play in the college game. You know, we retooled with We have some younger guys that's going to be able to help us. But like you said, we're definitely going to have to lean on DiMaggio Wiggins and um, Justin Turner a lot. To, to produce most of our scoring and offense for us. Well, there are some key things, I think, as this season starts. One, how does Dylan Fry take to be in the point guard? Last year, they moved him there about for the last third of the season, and he struggled with it. Coach Huger thinks he'll be much better at it this year with a full offseason to prepare. They like what they've seen in the preseason. And he can still score from that point guard spot, and I'm sure he will. That'll be key. And, and you're exactly right, and I think that was part of the adjustment for him last year. Dylan was used to getting the basketball on the wing, looking to score, not so much looking to start the offense. And I think, we, like you said, with him having a full year to prepare at the point guard spot, learning how you need to run the offense, how you need to get the offense going, and then know that the basketball is going to come back to you after a couple of passes, and you can still look to be aggressive. So, and, and, you know, I think he's going to adjust to it. I think he has the ability to play the point guard spot and be a good point point guard and he's scoring point guard for us so you're right I think he's going to produce for us at that spot and there will be several key newcomers obviously that we'll talk about as the game progresses for BGSU for you uniform hawks and aficionados BG debuting some new uniforms from Nike the white with the script Falcons in orange orange numerals and brown trim the Bluffton Beavers with their purple uniforms with white numerals and lettering. I tell you what, I'm going to touch on it at the beginning of the season. I think every time we, we step on the court, we're debuting a new uniform. <laughs> DiMaggio Wiggins against Aaron Rich in center circle. Toss and tap controlled by the Falcons. Bluffton almost snuck in there. Ronnie James to take that tap away, but Justin Turner outdueled him. And now Bluffton overplaying the very first pass of the season. And Dylan Fry committing that cardinal sin of picking up his dribble, but they get out of it, get it to the left block. DiMaggio Wiggins bangs into a man. He flops and falls down. No call. Basket good. DiMaggio Wiggins, 2-0, Bowling Green. And good to see the flop not called. You're exactly right, and I like what DiMaggio did right there. Very patient with the basketball. No, he has a size advantage and, and took advantage of it. Bluffton now with the ball underneath, and they will put it up on the window and score. Good find by Aaron Rich to Justin, Justice Doughty underneath. We're tied at two. Just underway, obviously, at Stroh Center. Exhibition game between BG and Bluffton. Here's Dylan Fry on the take to the left block. Throws it out top to Jeff Uju. Feed it right back inside to DiMaggio Wiggins. Missed the jump hook. Uju rebound foul. Bowling Green gives it back to Bluffton on the first hey, whistle hey, of the day. Right there, good offense by the Falcons. Jeff Uju caught the ball at the top of the key. No, that's not his strength. Look inside, found DiMaggio. DiMaggio's just got to get going to the basket. The jump hook, not a bad move, but when you're such so much bigger than the guy guarding you, you want to get something going to the hoop, not falling away from it. Ronnie James brings the ball up for Bluffton. 5'10 sophomore. 
Passes out top for Andrew Renner, their top leading scorer. Returning, here's Jez Brown. Feeds it near the left elbow to James. He'll give it up at the right elbow to Rich. Back out top to James. Dribbles to the right point, leaves it in the right wing. Renner, he'll take the free throw line, find Dowdy at the left point. Drive and kick out top for Renner. Three ball way off the mark. Wiggins, BG rebound. Feeds Turner, 2-2 game. Turner into the front court. Crossover dribble to the basket and count that one to the foul. That's Justin Turner at his best on the attack for two Bowling Green. You're right, and that right there was just a straight big man move. Justin Turner realized the young man guarding him does not have the quickness to stay in front of him, and just with a simple crossover and drawing the contact was able to finish at the hoop. So the foul will send Turner to the line where he fails to convert, and it remains 4-2 in favor of BGSU. Lofton quickly into the front court. Here's Dowdy left of the block. Faces up on Uju, flips a pass out top to Renner. Renner, left hand dribble, down to the baseline, double team, pass out top to Dowdy, back to the left wing, Andrew Renner. 4-2 Bowling Green, Renner to the free throw line, and the shot blocked by Turner. Picked out of the air by Wiggins, here come the Falcons. Leading 4-2, just there, Dylan Fry, pull up straight ahead, triple, no sir. Rebound, Bluffton, Des Brown, 4-2 BG lead. Beavers into the front court. Brown gives it up left wing to Renner. He'll feed it down to the left baseline. Into the lane, Rich, a little jump hook good over Wiggins, and it's a tie game at four. And, and right there, DiMaggio's got to put up a little bit more resistance. He can't allow the young man to drive to the basket and get that basketball up so easy. He's got to put some, play, play a little harder defense. 4-4 four, four game, and this exhibition contest here at Stroh Center. Justin Turner on the handle out top, finds Lillard. Left point, turn around, triple is true for Antoine Lillard, and it's 7-4 BGSU. And, and right there, good job by Tuan raising up and shooting that basketball. If he can add that to his game, it, it, it's going to be another, it's going to be a good year for Tuan. Now an illegal screen called as Renner came off that screen. So Des Brown and Andrew Renner each with a foul now. 7-4, Bowling Green with the lead. Fry brings it into the front court. Leaves it for Turner between the circles. Over to Antoine Lillard, deep on the left point. Back out top, Wiggins. Pass to Turner, high on the right. Turner dribbles left, throws it right. Into the wing for Uju, wants to feed Wiggins. Does so, way off the block. Wiggins backing into the post. Spins to the right hand. Hook shot good off the square. And BG up 9-4 against the Bluffton Beavers. And right there again, good patience by DiMaggio on the block. And that time he got something going to the basket, not falling away with a jump hook. Beavers with the ball. Here is Ronnie James attacking and flipping it into the right block to Dowdy. Trapped under the lid. Found Rich. Back to the wing, right side, James. Triple try, too strong. BG rebound, Jeff Uju. Gives it up to Dylan Fry. He'll press up the left sideline with BG up 9-4. to four. Pass to Wiggins. Left of the block. Moves into the paint. Got hit on the arm. Missed the shot. Pull out of the air by Uju, he'll flip it up and in. BG 11, Bluffton 4. And right there, good job by, by Jeff not giving up on the play. I thought DiMaggio got foul on the initial shot, but no call was made. Good job and not just relax and continue playing and good offensive rebound. Barely four minutes in, BG's both attend a seven-point lead. Here's Renner dribbling right of the lane, stuck there, found Rich. He'll get up a hook shot right of the rim, no good. Rebound knocked away and Bluffton keeps it. 11-4, BG with the lead, Beavers with the ball. There's a shot off the dribble left right side, Des Brown, long rebound pulled in by Bluffton by Rich. He throws it up with contact, no whistle, ball out of bounds to BG. And we have a timeout. 15-46 to play, first half, Bowling Green 11 and Bluffton four. Stroh Center, 15.46 to play in the first half. But BG 11 and Bluffton 4. 
Todd Walker and Kirk Cowan here with you. As Bowling Green will open the season Tuesday. This is an exhibition game. The one Tuesday will count as the Tiffin Dragons come to town. Of course, Bluffton and Bowling Green have a lot of history, although a lot of people may not realize it. These teams first met back in 1915, and they used to play regularly when the BG and Bluffton were in the same conference back in those days. BG leads the all-time series 33 to 16, and they won the last 19 times that the teams have played. And again, this one is not officially going to count in the record book, but these teams have played 49 times when it has counted. Of course, uh, Bluffton coach Guy Neal is a Bowling Green grad. Was part of John Weinert's 81 MAC champs. And was a GA for Coach Weinert here with the 83 conference championship team and then went on to a long coaching career. Most of it here at Bluffton. He's in his 30th year as the head coach of the Beavers. Falcons off the first media timeout with the basketball. They stick with the starters, Fry, Turner, Lillard, Uju, and Wiggins. Beavers man-to-man -man defense. There's a pass to the wing for Turner, drives down the baseline. Got caught there, tried to pass to the wing, picked off by Renner, hands it off to James. Here come the Beavers, down 11 to four. And right there offensively, Justin, he left his feet and tried to make that pass. He's got to jump stop and see what's going on. Renner sets up and misses that straight on three ball. BG rebound, Fry, a good look ahead. Wiggins had it stripped, got it back. Under the basket, in trouble. Bounced it out top to Fry, whipped it to the left corner, Lillard. Triple try, no. Wiggins rebound, stick back foul. He'll shoot two. He was fouled on Isaiah Taylor, who just checked in for Bluffton. And right there, that was a good extra pass by Dylan Fry. That's a point guard play right there. Realized he got the basketball, could have shot it, but realized he had Antoine Lillard wide open in the corner, made the extra pass. Dimaggio, good offensive rebound. So here's Wiggins, who shot 69% from the stripe last season as a junior. Averaged 13.7 points, 10.1 rebounds. Free throws good. BG will sub in Michael Laster. And Marlon Sierra, a couple of junior college players brought in to fill the void with the departures of Nellie Cummings and Roderick Caldwell and Derek Koch. Sierra, a 6'7 junior, Laster, a 6'1 junior. 12 4 Bowling Green with the lead after the free throw by Wiggins. Misses the second one. Long rebound pulled in by Bluffton by Des Brown. 12 4 BG with the lead. Beavers get it ahead. Flip it out top to Rich. Now high on the right to Jameel Cosby, who just checked in. High on the left, Renner. Dribbles out top. Got away from Lillard. Down the lane. Scoop it up. Scored, and he's fouled. Nice job by Renner, Wood, but the left hand is scooched back to the right hand and flipped it up. Fouled by Sierra. And right there, I know Sierra picked up that foul, but that's because Dimaggio, that's bad defense on DiMaggio's part. Right there, DiMaggio's man set the screen, and he has to be there to show to stop the penetration, but he was so far underneath, he allowed the offensive player to turn the corner and get all the way to the hoop. He's got to stop that ball coming off the ball screen. Renner converts the three-point play, 12-6. Bowling Green, now some press by Bluffton. Looks like a 2-2-1. Fields throws a pass ahead to Sierra. Hands it back. I'm sorry, Michael Laster for BG. 12-7, Falcons with the lead. Here's Lillard out top. And it's a Turner. Left point, three. Too strong. Rebound skied for and pulled in by Jamil Cosby. Bluffton, here they come into the front court, down 12-7. And right there, sorry, Todd, that's a bad shot right there by Turner coming off the ball screen. It's a contested jump shot. Move the basketball around. You can get a better look. Here's a three open out top. Miss by Bluffton by Cosby. Rebound Wiggins, BG. Quick hand off to Turner. He'll move into the front court. He'll be bumped, put up a shot, miss it. Good rebound by Renner, who also defended well. Bluffton ahead, down 12-7. Bring it into the front court now. Left wing. That's a big man, Taylor. Trying to back down on Wiggins, gets to the baseline. Tried to reverse it, taken away by Sierra. Marlon with a quick outlet to Lillard. He finds Laster, he'll speed to the basket, put it on the window and score. Michael Laster turns on the Jets for a 14-7 lead. Yeah, right there, that's a good quick move to the, to the basket. I think that, you know, he caught them slipping. You know, expect him to pull it out, but good job of getting past the defender and getting all the way to the basket. 14-7 BG with the lead. Cosby with the left wing for Bluffton. Out to the left point, Rich, hand off there to Renner. Shot fake, bounce pass in the lane, knocked away momentarily, but 
Retained by Taylor. He'll flip it up over the rim, no good. Lufton picked it out of the air. Got it out top to Renner, he misses the three. Sierra the rebound for BG. Falcons lead 14-7. Here they come, Laster in the front court, stops, hands it off to Wiggins, gets it right back. Wiggins trying to set a screen, can't do it. Laster moves to the elbow, flips it to the left wing for Turner. Justin comes out top on the bounce. Picks it up, gets a pass to DiMaggio. Right block, double team, tried to pass the baseline and it's knocked away by the Beavers. Oh. And right there, Marlon's got to do a better job. He's got to realize that they're sending the double team, and the double team's coming from his guy. He's got to be there on that opposite block, letting DiMaggio know so he can receive that basketball for an easy layup. Lufton gets Jared Wentling in the game, along with Mondell Ransaw. Also, Doughty checked back in. Lob on the inbound. Oh. Look at that right-hand hammer by Antoine Lillard. New flex on that bad one. 16-7. Wow, uh, yeah, he's allowed to flex on that. That was an ideal pass and good job of uh, uh, Twan just getting all the way to the basket. Got open a little higher than everyone else, was able to put it in. 16-7, Orange and Brown. On a throwdown by Twan. Here is Renner into the paint, zigzagging through and throwing up a tough shot and missed it. BG rebound, Wiggins gave it to Michael Laster. Here he comes, he'll stop and pop and miss from above the left elbow, Renner. The Beaver rebound, 16-7, Bowling Green. Nearing the 12-minute mark, first half. Beavers with it in the right wing. This is Wentling, and he'll try to come out on the dribble, and he's fouled by Caleb Fields. No, they, just it's an illegal screen, actually. Oh, they called an illegal screen, excuse me. Bluffton foul will turn it over. 12-01 to play. First half. Sixteen to seven, BG leads here. Twelve oh one to go, first half. Falcons five on the floor for Frickers now. Marlon Sierra, Michael Laster, Daquan Plowden, Caleb Fields, and Tyler Matos. This is Matos, top side. Got it in the left corner to Fields. He'll back away, high on the left. Now pass out top to Plowden. Right wing, it goes to Laster. He'll put it on the floor. He'll pull up at right baseline, miss it. Matos caught it, flipped it up to the rim, no good. Bluffton controls it now with Jared Wentling. 16-7, Bowling Green with the lead. Beavers back on the attack. Here's Ronnie James driving and kicking, and it comes back out top to Doughty. High on the right, Wentling. Feeds it right baseline. This is Ransaw. Gives it up, out top to Wentling. Right of the point. To the left point, Doughty to the left wing. James gave it back to Doughty. Five to shoot. He'll launch out there for three and miss fire. Matos corrals it for Bowling Green. 16-7 right. BG with a nine-point lead. Right there, that was just good team defense by the Falcons. Good job of talking, realizing where the basketball was, showing on ball screens by the Falcons. And important to note, no starters in the game on that defensive series. And here's Matos working around his man on the right block and scoring easily. 18-7, BG's biggest lead of the night. And again, good patience in the post, realizing the guys guard you are smaller. Take your time and make a good move. On a handoff, a triple left point missed by Bluffton's Jared Wentling. BG rebound, Fields. He'll move into the front court. Now pull it out into the wing. 18-7. Orange and Brown with the lead. We're nearing the midpoint of the first half. Here's Laster off a screen from Matos. Into the lane, dumped it down for Sierra. He walked. No nope, nope, charge. Travel. Um, excuse me, charge. He left his feet. It, 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 it's, you can't do that. You have to stay grounded. You can't jump and make that pass. Michael Laster with charging call. 10.22 to go in the first half. It is Bowling Green 18 and a Bluffton Beaver 7. KC, since we're not doing commercials on this feed, let's just kind of talk through the breaks as we look at this Bowling Green team. You know, everybody, I think, believes last year this team was poor defensively and in ways they were, but if you look at the, really break it down, if you look at the Ken Pomeroy rankings, Defensive efficiency, Bowling Green was seventh in the MAC. Offensive efficiency, they were 12th. I think really what happened was last year, when they were bad offensively, they were worse defensively. Yes. But there were times the defense was okay, but offensively last year really is where I think they underperformed. Yeah, you're exactly right. I, I think we, in certain games, you, you, you just didn't know, as a team, they didn't know where they wanted to go with the basketball. It, 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 there was a lot of one pass, quick shots, 
a, a lot of bringing the basketball up the court, quick shot. And, and I think when we were at our best is when we made four, five, six pass, move the basketball around, force other teams to play defense for more than a five second count. That's when we were at our best. So, it, you know, I, I, I think we're, we'll be a good defense. I think we have the, the athletes to be really good defensively if we're willing to work on the defensive end. And then offensively, like I said, we have to, we have to know who we can trust and who we can get the basketball to in certain times of the game. Of course, the visitors tonight, the Bluffton Beavers, they return just two starters. Uh, they're going to lean on Andrew Renner, heavy. He's their leading returning scorer, rebounder, three-point shooter, and a sister. So they're going to count on that young man out of Bath High School in Lima to really carry them. 16, I'm sorry, 18 to seven. Bowling Green with the lead at the second media timeout. Falcons keep that lineup out there. Laster, Fields, Plowden, Sierra, and Matos. BG running out a little press. 2-2-1 two, two, look here. Beavers get it into the front court. Now we'll try to set up the offense. Renner finds a man at the left point. Now it comes back out top to Ronnie James. Also, they have Justice Doughty out there. Here's Renner driving, flipped up the reverse, going left to right, got it in off the square. Nicely done by Andrew Renner with that baseline drive. 18-9 is the lead for BG. Matos rolling and flushing on the good pass from Michael Laster. And the big man Matos dunks it down and Bowling Green back up 11. And right there, that's a good job of the big fellow realizing that they were showing hard on that ball screen, so he rolls to the basket for the easy two. Renner out top to Doughty who buries the bomb. Justice Doughty, 20 to 12. BG's lead cut to eight. Michael Laster into the front court for Bowling Green. Moves to the right. Throws it out top to Matos. Bounce pass taken away. Nice deflection and steal. Ransaw for Bluffton. James will bring it into the front court for the Beavers, who trail by eight. This pass tipped away and taken away by Laster. Michael Laster step through and lay it in. Take it away and score it. BG by 10. And right there, good job. Good defensive right there by, by Laster getting his hand in the passing lane. And good job of attacking the basket, not allowing the defense to stop the basketball. Lofton on the attack now. Here's Dowdy between the circles. Guarded by Sierra, bounces it to Ransaw at the right point. He'll put it on the floor, spin into the lane, get it taken away by Matos. Loose ball picked off by BG by Plowden. Got it to Laster, he'll lob it ahead. Matos, big fella, but can't get it to go, but running the floor yeah, very well. Exactly, I, I love that. I love to see the big fella get out ahead of the defense, running the floor, caught that basketball, and he, you know, fluid move with it, didn't look awkward at all, and, you know, got it up on the backboard, just wasn't able to get it to fall. Well, I've heard a lot of good things about this freshman out of New London, New Hampshire, and today he has shown a lot of good things as well. Free throw is good. BG. 23, Bluffton 12. Beavers get some subs in. We'll talk about them in a moment. Matisse Kulachkovskis checks in for Bowling Green. He was here last year as a freshman. Got hurt in the preseason. His knee didn't play at all. Falcons are hoping for big contributions from him. There he's got a rebound off the missed free throw. Tied up, kicked it to the right wing for Fields. He wants three, he missed it. Rebound, Matos flips it up. No good, it went off the 10. Finally, Bluffton, Aaron Rich has the rebound and bounces the pass to Renner. 23-12, Bowling Green. Renner in the left wing, feeds it off the left block to Isaiah Taylor. Works around Matisse, got to the rim, drew the foul. Well, Matisse just kind of let him work around him and yeah. then tried to block it and got the foul. You're exactly right. I think just defensively he was at a, an awkward angle and when the offensive player made the move he was out of out of defensive position and then he tried to go up for the block but I think he caught him with more body. Yeah, I think Taylor with the strength advantage there too and Taylor left hands the free throw up and no good. 6'4 junior averaged five points and five boards last year for the Beavers. Second free throw short as well. Falls off to Plowden for Bowling Green. So now it's Laster, Plowden, Fields, Kulachkovskis, and Matos for Bowling Green. Here is Matisse out top, dribbles right, fakes the handoff, turns the corner, throws up an air ball from the right baseline. Here comes Ronnie James for the Beavers. Got it to Renner in transition. Left side three ball, yes. Andrew Renner from downtown 
You know, right Lofton there, cuts the lead to eight. Right there, bad job of finding in transition. No one really ran back and find, you know, everyone was watching the basketball, didn't find the offensive player. Good pass by the Bluffton player. BG on the attack, Laster into the lane. Kick out to Matisse, hands it off to Caleb Fields. 10 to shoot, Fields between the circles to the left point, pulls up for a triple, no good. Rebound Taylor for Bluffton. 23-15, Bowling Green leads. Beavers into the front court. James finds Renner, left wing. Plowden not there to guard him. Renner dribbles toward the top. Now toward the free throw line. Pass to the left wing for Fields. Bounce pass to Taylor, off the left block. Trying to body up against Kulachkoskis. Moves him into the lane, pump fake. Pass out top for an open three. Missed that time by Des Brown. Rebound, Bowling Green by Michael Laster. 23-15, BG. Laster leaves his man, but finds Plowden flying down that baseline. And that guy can hammer if you don't get to him, and Beavers did. He'll have to earn it at the line after the foul by Isaiah Taylor. And right there, good, good job of making the extra pass by, by Michael uh, to, to Daquan on the baseline. 23-15, Bowling Green's lead as we hit another media timeout in this exhibition game. Falcons will open the season for real on Tuesday when they entertain the Tiffin Dragons. And we'll have that game on the Falcon Sports Radio Network with a 7 o'clock tip time, so 6.30 pregame on Tuesday as the Falcons take on Tiffin, and then they head on a little roadie. Yeah. Friday night next week, a week from tomorrow night, they will be at Karnaseka Arena, the campus of St. John's University in New York City. I still have to work on my contract where I get to pick the games I want to travel to, and that's one <laughs> that'd I'd be the one. That'd right? be the one I need to go. I get to go home, get to go see the family. Now they're at Rucker. They have Kirk Cowan Court. No, is that right? No, no, <laughs> not not at all. No. Not you weren't dominating the playgrounds in the NYC when you were coming up? I, I, a few, but not Rucker Park. <laughs> you know, may, maybe if we went back to my old neighborhood, someone might remember me playing basketball in the, at the outdoor courts, but not Rucker Park. Although I do have a Rucker Park championship, not the big tournament. Oh, really? But, but we played when I was in high school. Uh, my AAU team, we played in a, a, a local tournament there, and we, we won that championship. Nice. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being in the Big Apple for that one. And then the Falcons on Monday, a week from this coming Monday, will be in Richmond, Virginia to play VCU. So a couple of real early testers for this BG team with a really top level, you know, top 25 caliber team. But I, I think those are games that we learn from. You, you know, you, you want to play. I, I think the harder the games are at the beginning, it really lets you know where you stand getting in a conference play. You know, we can play a lot of teams that, yes, you're going to definitely get a W, but I think you want to go out and, and you want to compete at the highest level, and it, it lets you know where exactly what you need to work on before you get in conference play. Here's Daquan Plowden to shoot two as play resumes. Bowling Green up 23-15. Daquan, the only Falcon to appear in all 32 games last year. He makes the free throw. He's now sophomore, product of Philadelphia. Last year averaged five points and three boards. Good to see him make both free throws. Last year he was about 50-50 on that deal. 25-15, BG with the lead and bringing back the press. Got some starters back in the game now, a couple of them, Fry and Turner. BG's five on the floor, four Frickers, joined by Matos, Kulachkoskis, and Plowden. Here's Renner, got free on a screen, tries to reverse it again. Earlier hit that, this time no good. And Matisse the rebound for BG. Falcons bring it into the front court. Dylan Fry feeds Turner in the left corner. Three ball, no. Left and rebound Aaron Rich. Quick outlet left side for Ronnie James. Hands off in the left wing to Brown. Out top Rich. Pump fake drive against Matos. Good defense. Hit the side of the board. BG picked it off. Kulachkovskis gave it to Dylan Fry. Nothing there in transition. So they'll set it up. 25-15 Bowling Green with the advantage. 5.50 to play first half. Here's Justin Turner between the circles. Works to the left point. Pass out top. Matisse hands off to Dylan Fry. Down to the baseline, under the basket, got it blocked under there. Looked like Rich got a piece of it. Renner picked it off for Bluffton. They move into the front court, down 10. 
Right wing, here's Des Brown for the Beavers. Pass tipped by Plowden, but it got to Rich anyway, right of the point. Looking for help, Rich will get it in the person of Ronnie James. Guarded by Justin Turner. James got it to Rich inside the top of the circle for two, no good. Rebound Dylan Fry, here comes BG. Up by 10, Dylan picks up his dribble, has to give it up to Matisse. Now Justin Turner directing traffic, gives it back to Dylan Fry. Here's Daquan Plowden high on the left. Man to man from Bluffton, we've seen that throughout the evening. Here's Dylan Fry out top, into the lane, lobbed it on the baseline for Plowden, had it knocked away, but a foul called. And right there, that's good unselfish play by Dylan Fry. He actually could have taken that shot, but realized he had Daquan open on the baseline. Good job, good catch by Dylan in trying, trying to get to the hoop. BG 25 and Bluffton 15 with 5.47 to play in the first half. Free throw good. You know, that, that wasn't a bad stretch right there from Taylor. He, he, I like him actually playing against teams like this because he's guarding a much smaller guy, being forced to guard someone that can put the basketball on the ground. And you, uh, and you know when we get in the conference play, there's a lot of tweeners that he's going to be faced, forced to guard that's going to be a, have that ability. So that, I, I was impressed by the ability of him to move his feet and, and stay in front of the basketball. Taylor Matos had five points in this time of the game. Daquan Plowden is 4 of 4 at the free throw line. 27-15, Bowling Green's biggest lead of this first half. Bluffton's checked Jamil Cosby back into the game, and he brings it up the floor. Bounces it to Andrew Renner. Between the circles, he gives it up to Des Brown. Now left wing to Cosby, checked by Turner. Cosby works to the oh. top. Turner took it away. Justin Turner with the thievery in the hoop. Just literally picked his pocket. Now Justin's a very good defender, and right there he just schooled the Beavers. 29-15 Bowling Green. Renner picks it up out to the top side. Gives it up to Dez Brown. Back to Renner. Deep right point. Three ball. In and out. Rebound off a couple of hands. And picked off by the Beavers. Brown, he finds a man coming down the lane. That's actually Brown with a score on the pass from Cosby. And Bluffton cuts the lead back to 12, 29-17. Good hustle basket by the purple and white. You're exactly right. The Falcons just failed to secure that defensive basketball. BG with the ball again. Here's Wiggins way out in the right corner. Finds Plowden coming through the lane, through traffic, to the basket. Count that one and a foul. Good strong take through the lane by Daquan Plowden. And the foul will be called on Jared Wentley. And we get a timeout with a BG 29-17 lead. Plowden will look to add to that at the free throw line when they get back to action. And, and right there, that's just a good that good basketball play by DiMaggio. You're right. He's being forced way off the block to catch the basketball in the post. Good job in not throwing up something bad or making a bad shot. Realized, took his time, saw what the defense was allowing him to do, and good cut by Daquan to get to the basket. And let me correct the score. They put it on the board. It's 31-17 in favor of Bluffton, in favor of Bowling Green over Bluffton. Again, this is an exhibition game. BG's the home opener and the season opener will be Tuesday when they host Tiffin. And again, BG counting on several newcomers and we've seen all of them thus far tonight. Marlon Sierra didn't do a whole lot in his first run in there, but we've seen a lot of Caleb Fields, Michael Laster, Taylor Matos, along with the returners for BGSU thus far. You know, I, I, I've been able to watch, not a lot, but I've, I've made it to a few practices. And, and I think before it's all said and done, I think Marlon's going to help us a lot. He, he, for a freshman, he's very relaxed, very comfortable on the court with the basketball. He doesn't seem to rush. And, 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 and I think, like I said, before it's all said and done, I think he'll, he'll help us quite a bit in, in this season. Yeah, to clarify, Marlon is a junior eligibility-wise, but he is a JUCO transfer, so first-year player. And he's he's got that look, you see. I mean, when you look at him, you're not going to go pushing him. Around. Exactly, and, that, and, and I don't know if that's what it is, but, you know, and, and I, you're right, you're correct me, he's not a true freshman. First year was for us, but he just... He's very relaxed. He's comfortable. He's out there. I, I watch. He's always um, coaching the, the other guys in practice. So he just, he, he's got almost, I want to say, he's got like a grown man's game already. And I, I think that's going to help us before it's all said and done this season. 
All right, BG with a 31-17 lead now, and Daquan Plowden at the line, trying to finish a three-point play. Plowden already with six points, and now seven. He's the leading BG scorer at this point. 32-17, biggest lead of this first half for the Falcons. Beavers fight through the pressure, but then a long pass tips out of bounds by Plowden. Good recovery right there by Daquan. Yeah, you're exactly right because that was going to be his fault because I think he kind of relaxed once the basketball got on that side of the floor, opposite side of the floor, and allowed his man to get behind him. But like you said, good job of recovering and getting his hand on the basketball. Beavers inbounding under the, around the baseline, get it out in the right wing to Renner. He'll come out top to Cosby. Cosby gets instructions, sets up the offense. Hand off out top to Des Brown into the right wing for Renner. Got Plowden off his feet, worked to the right elbow, too strong on the jumper. Now Wiggins chins that rebound and hands it off to Justin Turner. JT into the front court with a 32-17 lead for Bowling Green. Here's Fry high on the left, feeds DiMaggio left block. Moves to that right hand, got blocked from the help side by Brevin Dye. And the Beavers bring it up the floor with Cosby. 32-17 BG. Here's Dye in the left corner, missing the three. BG rebound justice, Justin Turner. Turner to the free throw line, pass underneath to Uju. Extra pass for the dunk for DiMaggio Wiggins. A little block to block action and the flush for Maj. 34-17 Bowling Green. Right there, nice team basketball, willing to make the extra pass. Good job by first Justin passing it to Jeff and Jeff not, you know, not forcing up over the defense, make the extra pass to DiMaggio, excuse me, for the, the easy shot. Now Wiggins with a block shot on Cosby's laying attempt. Turner bounce pass to Jeff Uju with that two-hand flush. Bowling Green getting their dunk on, 36-17. You're exactly right, a willingness to share the basketball, getting up, or uh, getting behind the defense. Good job by the Falcons. 2.20 to go in the first half. Des Brown drives baseline, threw it up high over Wiggins, no good. BG has the loose ball, here's Turner. Justin Turner, ahead to Uju. Bounced it to Wiggins, filling the lane. He'll put it up and score, and a basket will count. Right there, good on selfish um, basketball by the Falcons, and I think this is also when we're at our best. I, I know the competition might not be the greatest, but it, it's good to get in the habits of making the extra pass. Brevin Dye picked up that foul, and Guy Neal going to use the timeout for the Bluffton Beavers with 2.07 to play in the first half. Bowling Green 38, and Bluffton 17. And you're right, we've seen a lot of good passing here in the last several series, and where did it start? Defensively. Right. And, 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 and I tell you what, DiMaggio got credited for one block. The other one, he contested the shot. Didn't really, it didn't touch it, didn't block it. But, but it, it, he forced a bad shot. And that's something that he has to realize he needs to do more of this year. Last year, there was a lot of opportunities where he was there, but he, was, he didn't want to pick up the foul. So he kind of stood there with his hand straight up. At this level, even if you're 6'10", most guys are going to be able to shoot over you with, you with you on the floor. But if you're 6'10", and you jump, you're, you're, you're up there. So now you're forcing him to make that shot over your extended arm while you're off the floor. And that alone has an effect on the shot. So right there, good job. You know, he got credit for one block, but the other one didn't really block it. But he changed the shot, made it a bad shot that led to the fast break. So here's Wiggins at the line trying to complete the three-point play, which he does, and Bowling Green's lead. Now 39-17, their biggest of this first half. Falcons five on the floor for Frickers now for the final two minutes of the half. Antoine Lillard, Justin Turner, Dylan Fry, Jeff Uju, DiMaggio Wiggins. And there's a pass ahead, nearly a turnover, but Dowdy able to corral it for Bluffton and they'll set up the offense. Here's Andrew Renner, high on the right, guarded by Lillard. Dribbles to the middle, feeds it to Brevin Dye. Back to Renner, he spins into the lane from the right side, ran into Uju and lost the ball. Turner picks it up for the Falcons. Turner stopped by a pair of Beavers, now finds Wiggins inside and a foul on Brevin Dye, trying to reach in there and knock that ball away. And right there, DiMaggio's got it. He, he was there, good position in, in the key under the, by the basket, but he's got to do a better job of keeping and sealing that defender behind him. He allowed him to kind of swim through him. He's got to do a better job of sealing him. So Wiggins will shoot a pair, and this is nothing new. Last year he was top 50 in the nation in free throw rate and top 100 in drawing fouls. So he gets to the line quite a bit. 
And if he can bump that free throw percentage, last year he was good, right around 70 all year. If he could inch that up to 74 or 75, all of a sudden maybe a, a close loss turns into a close win. Yeah, you're exactly right because, it, you know, you're right. There are games where he would go 9 for 9, 10 for 10, and then there would be days where he'd struggle. So, And it seems like they've all, you know, Daquan, he's hit like six from the line. seems like we've put a little bit more emphasis uh, on, on working on our free throw shooting. Falcons with some press here. Fields dribbles through it and threw it ahead and nearly got it turned over, but Wiggins touched it last. That should have been a steal by DiMaggio. That, that ball was up in the air for anyone. He, should have, he needs to go at that harder. BG really pulling away over the last couple of minutes, now up 24 with a minute 20 to play until halftime. Lufton with the ball. Here's Die deep at the right point. He'll fire that three and misfire. Dylan Fry, BG rebound up the left side with it. Lopes into the front court. Cut off by James, tries it again. James up to the challenge again, and that's a charge, a offensive yeah. foul on Dylan Fry. Tried him once, tried him again, and Ronnie James denied him. You're exactly right, and right there, that's that's one of those plays where, uh, excuse me, Dylan just kind of, he's, he, okay, I'm going to man it with man to man and, you know, picked up the offensive, and he picked up another one. Well, that exchange right there is not encouraging no that's a lot of what we saw last year yeah you're exactly right you know a predetermined offensive move i'm going to do this yes you cut me off i'm going to do this offensive foul then dumb foul exactly and that's the it's from it stems from the other play because he picked up the offensive yeah. um, foul now he's trying to get the basketball back and now you pick up a second foul now you're sitting on the bench and you can't you, we can't have plays like that from your starting point guard minute to play in the half bg leads 41 17. lofton with it here's a renner Offense. And Offense. We had an illegal screen. It must have been Dowdy. No, it was somebody else. It was Brevin Dye. Yes. Young man out of Garfield Heights Trinity has three fouls. He's getting an explanation from the official now. Our officials, by the way, Jeff Spadosky, Keith Lewis, and Jesse Joseph. He was the man that made that last call. Falcons with a 41-17 lead. They feed it to Wiggins off the left block. Pass out top to Lillard. Whips it to the left wing. Turner. He'll step to his left, fire and miss. Rebound James after a good block out for Bluffton. Gives it to Justice Dowdy. Little flip back to James. Whipped it out top to Renner. 30 seconds to go in the half. Bowling Green up 41-17. Beavers with it. Dowdy left alone, but Uju close enough. He won't shoot it. Now Renner deep on the left point. 12 to shoot. Drives into traffic, got it on the window, scored. See, and, and that's the play right there. DiMaggio is in perfect position where he could have gone and blocked that shot, but instead he kind of just sat back. Seven seconds to play in the half. BG into the front court, Turner driving, taking, scooping with the left hand and counting. Justin Turner with a basket to finish the half, and Bowling Green bumps their lead back to 24 as we hit halftime. It is BG 43. And Bluffton, 19. So halftime here at Stroh Center. Falcons really closed the half strong. They were up 31-17 at the final media timeout. They outscored Bluffton over the final four minutes by a count of 12 to two to grab a 24-point lead as we head to the break. We'll be back with you when the second half begins for more BGSU basketball against the Bluffton Beavers.
Time winding down here at Stroh Center. On the sidelines here at Bill Frack Court, Todd Walker and Kirk Cowan with you tonight. Falcons lead at halftime 43 to 19. Leading scorers for BGSU, DeBaggio Wiggins with 12. Daquan Plout with seven. Andrew Renner leads Bluffton with 10 points. DeBaggio Wiggins with eight rebounds for BG. Aaron Rich has five boards to lead the Beavers. Falcons shot 50% in the first half. They were 15 of 25 on two-point baskets, just one of seven on threes. They were 10 of 13 at the line. Lufton just eight of 31 from the floor, two of 13 from three, one of three from the free throw line. Rebounds fairly even, 20 to 19 in favor of Bowling Green. Each team with four offensive rebounds. Beavers have eight turnovers to just four. Bowling Green. Falcons have a paint point advantage of 30 to 10, 12 nothing on the fast break, and 8 2 off turnovers. So, pretty good first half by BG KC. They closed the half strong as well, a 12 2 run over the last four minutes. You're definitely right. Good job at the defensive end, and like we both said, good defense lead into early. Um, early offense and easy offense. So, you know, we're, we're, we're light ball turnovers or, or just getting the defensive rebound where we're turning it around and getting to the offensive end and getting good looks. Left them with the ball to begin this second half. They will move left to right. Andrew Renner, Des Brown, also Ronnie James on the floor with Aaron Rich and Justice Doughty. He will fire out top and fill it up for three. Justice Doughty. And now this is something now that with the Falcons, we're, we're notorious for slow starts coming out in the half. And that's something we need to work on and for this year. BG's five on the floor for Frickers, the original starting five. Dylan Fry, Justin Turner, Antoine Lillard, Jeff Uju, DiMaggio Wiggins. Here's Turner, given to Fry, dribbles into the left corner. Pass to Uju, left point, 10 to shoot. Pass into the middle of the paint, Wiggins. Extra pass to the right point, Lillard. Five to shoot, gets in the lane, draws contact, he'll shoot two. Good patience by Antoine there. Yeah, uh, again, you, you know, he, he's being guarded by a much smaller guy. He could, um, 
excuse me, I was referring to DiMaggio. Good job by DiMaggio getting it inside with the patience and kicking it back right. in and out. And, and then good job, uh, uh, Tuan, not settling for the, qu the, the quick jump shot, putting the basketball on the ground and, and getting to the basket. Antoine Lillard at the free throw line, good. Tuan really stepped up his free throw shooting last year at 79%. Average nine points, four rebounds. Had that suspension at the beginning of the year. And now as a senior, I think being a little more focused coming into the season. Splits the pair at the line, 44-22 Bowling Green. Trying to get a little press on there. Bluffton able to work through it quickly. And come into the front court. Here's Ronnie James. Hand off to Renner. Bounce out top to Des Brown. Des backs away, guarded by Justin Turner. Bounce to Aaron Rich, who came flashing out top. Guarded by Uju. Rich puts it on the floor left. And off his man is Dylan Fry to take it away. Dylan probing, but nothing there on the break, so he'll pull it out. Set up the offense. JT out top triple. No good. And we got a rebound foul. I think they undercut DiMaggio yeah. Wiggins. And, and right there, I know it doesn't look like much, but that's such a big a, a big growth for um, Dylan Fry. Last year, Dylan's trying to push that basketball. He's going to take it one against three, but right there you saw him pull it out and, and run some offense. Off the inbound, DiMaggio Wiggins in front of the rim, no good. Uju, no good on the stick back try. Ball caroms off to Bluffton in the person of Andrew Renner. Hands it off to the trailer. Brown down to the baseline. Rich nearly got it taken away, but recovers, gets to the rim and misses. Wiggins boards it for BG. Feeds Dylan Fry, who whips it across the court to Turner. 44-22, Bowling Green. Turner spinning to the left block. Pass out top to Fry. Beautiful extra pass Step to the right bounds. corner, but Antoine Lillard uh, ran out of real estate over there. Probably yep. had his foot on the line when he caught yep. the ball. Coach Huger's like, well, dude. I think he, <laughs> he shot fake, and when he shot fake, he kind of stepped backwards to try to sell it ah, to the defender, then he stepped out of bounds. Got to know where you're at on the court, though. It's just like in the real estate game. Location, location, <laughs> exactly. location, right? 44-22, Bowling Green. We played two minutes of the second half. Here's Aaron Rich with a shot fake and a dribble drive and a kick to the right corner. Brown bangs on the triple. Des Brown, a sophomore out of Illyria, cuts the lead to 19. And right there you see two defensive position where we failed to contain the basketball, forced to help. They make the right basketball play, kick the basketball out, led to three-point shot. We got to contain the ball. Travel. Wiggins with a travel. Tried a quick move off the left block and called for the walk. Beavers with a strong start to the second half, a six to one advantage thus far. Hit a couple of threes, one from Des Brown, one from Justice Doughty. Beavers back with it. There's Renner left to the point. Works down to the baseline, pass knocked around but recovered by the Beavers by Brown. That should have been a steal for yeah. Dylan Fry. Now here's Des Brown, a little shake and bake. Nothing happened, pass out top to Doughty. Shot fake, puts it on the deck. Works around Uju and scoops it up and good. Justice Doughty using some English on that one. 44-27 Bowling Green. And now it's an 8-1 run to begin the second half for Bluffton. Again, we're allowing penetration. We're, we did such a good job in the first half of containing the basketball. There's Turner up top of the circle. Two good. Justin Turner with eight. 46-27 Bowling Green. 16-40 to play now. There's a deflected pass, but it got through to Rich anyway. He'll dribble left. They deny the handoff to Renner, so he throws it in the left corner to Doughty. Doughty brings it out top now to Renner. He'll move over to the left side of the floor. Checked by Lillard. Skips it to the right corner. James had to go airborne to get it. When he came down, he was on the baseline. Andrew Renner says, my bad. And, and right there, that's a break for the Falcons because for some reason, everyone is on the other side of the floor, and it's kind of like we lost track of the offensive player, but, you know, bad for Bluffton that he stepped out of bounds, but good for us. The scouting report probably doesn't think that Ronnie James is a three-point shooter. Last year he was three of 14. Here's the pass inside Wiggins, and he'll muscle it up and score it off the glass with the foul. Got caught on a much smaller player there, and he was fouled by Aaron Rich. Of course, in this game, everybody's much smaller than DiMaggio. And He'll be at the line with BG up now 48-27. And, and you're exactly right, and that's all that DiMaggio has to do, just realize I, he, he's so much bigger than everyone. I think the biggest guy for Bluffton, 6'5", that, that's played any tonight, and he's got to realize you take your time, you turn, and get something going to the hoop, you'll be fine all night. 
Wiggins converts the three-point play. He's got 15 points. And BG up 22. Four minutes into this second half, 49-27. Lofton with the basketball on the left side of the floor. Now it comes out top to Doughty. He'll put it on the deck against Uju. Pass to the right corner for Renner. Attacks the lane, kicks it back to the right side for Doughty. Hands it off to Renner. He'll launch that three and come up with nothing but air and net. There's Turner for BG. 49-27 Falcons. Dylan Fry with the take and got grabbed on his way by, and he'll have to take the ball out of bounds after our first media timeout of this second half. Foul called on Des Brown. So with now 15-37 to play in this game, Bowling Green has a 49-27 advantage. And again, BG will open the season Tuesday when they host Tiffin. And that game will be on the Falcon Sports Radio Network. KC and I will be on the air at 6.30 Tuesday night with our Medical Mutual pregame show. Thus far tonight, we've seen most of the Falcons on the floor for at least some playing time, with the exception of Ethan Good and DeAndre Austin and Janiah Gadsden. Everybody else has seen playing time thus far tonight against the Bluffton Beavers. And BG, again, a little slow start to the yeah. second half, KC. And it's something that we need to work, and I, I, I don't know if it's what's said in the locker room or, or, or well, I, I can't say it's because we have such a big lead because we did it last year in games when we were trailing or, 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 or close to basketball games. It's just something mentally we have to figure out a way how to come out of halftime, and we have to be prepared. We have to be ready to play. You know, we, we had a good half of basketball. We finished the half good defensively, and we came out. And I know it, it, it looks simple. It looks, well, it's only eight points, but it's eight points that we should, it, they, they were failure to contain the basketball. We allowed Bluffton to penetrate and make the extra pass that led to a wide open shot. And, and you and I both know that you go down the year, you have play like that, plays like that in a mat game that might cost you the ball game. So it, it, it's just something mentally we have to work on. We have to come out prepared to play every minute of the game, and we can't take plays off. Yeah, it wasn't so much the what, it was the how. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It, it's just, it, you know, the, the, the two plays, it's like penetration, and it's something that we struggled with last year when, it, when, it, when, it, when we played a team that could get by that initial defender, we're forced to help, then they're making the extra pass, and it led to easy buckets. So it's just something that tonight, it, it just didn't look good. BG off the out-of-bounds under will set up the offense. Fry on a catch out top and buries the two. And then Fry makes it 51-27. Bowling Green matching their biggest lead. So Falcons recovering from that slow start to the second half. Here's Renner on the handoff. Shot fake, got Lillard in yeah. the air. Shot yeah. just above the free throw line and drew the foul on Antoine. Hey, right there, and he bit for that ball fake. He's got to do a better job. He's got to come off that screen and realize that he's there, stay down, and still contest the shot. Well, Andrew Renner is a, a cagey player. And he showed it right there because he had DiMaggio flying by like a birdie. Renner to the stripe. He shot 72% there last year. He is two of two this year. Made one in the first half to complete a three-point play. Meanwhile, Daquan Plowden replaces Antoine Lillard for Bowling Green. Renner, second free throw, no good. Rebound, nobody. Out of bounds off the table. And we got lucky again, you know, yeah. free throw block out. We assumed that he was going to make it, didn't box out, he missed. You know, but those are the plays that we need to get out of our, uh, our system. We, we, need, we, we can't have mental laps. Blocked them with some full court press action here. Falcons get Justin Turner up the left side and into the front court. Drops it back to Fry. Shot fake drive. Kick to Uju. High on the right three. That's not what you want to see no. much of. No rebound by Bluffton by Isaiah Taylor. 51-29 Bowling Green. Behind the screen. Three ball top side. Ronnie James buries it for Bluffton. Seeing a bad shot by us leads to yeah. a three-point make by them. 51-32 Bowling Green, 14-40 to play in the ball game. Wiggins out top for BG, oh, down nice the baseline, play. Fry got loose, he's nice fouled play. underneath by Bluffton's Mandel Ransaw. 
And two shots coming for Dylan Fry, but a nice cut and a nice find by you're, DiMaggio. You're exactly right. Right there, Dima uh, excuse me, Dylan Fry, he's on the baseline underneath the basket. He's using the down screen by Daquan and realized that the defense is already overplaying him using that screen, so he went back door, and good job of DiMaggio finding him for the, the attempted layup. Ooh, and Dylan Fry with a brick free throw. Yeah. Not pleased about it. Dylan last year, free throw shooting was spotty at times, 73% overall, but he had a few spurts where he was not making free throws at the clip you would expect. He missed both of those. Almost got the roll. Here's Sierra back up and in. Marlon Sierra doing man's work on the glass and the stick back. I, like I said, just watching this young man in practice, I, I, I think before it's all said and done, he might be the, the addition. Now, now, not saying that he's going to be a Derek Cope, but just, just what Derek brought for us, that keeping basketballs alive at, at the offensive end, getting his hands on, on the basketball, he reminded me the closest of that. Three-point play completed by Marlon Sierra. And Marlon's got a good headband game. <laughs> He's got that Nike headband. Also, I think uh, was it. Yeah, I think Mike Laster's got. It's not really a headband. It's more like a half bandana thing. Yeah, that almost looks like the type of headband my daughter wears when she plays. Yeah, and uh, Matisse Kulachkoskis wears one as well. BG up 54-31 now after that three-point play by Sierra. Bluffed him with the basketball. Now this is Jared Wentling. Gives it up left to the point to Ronnie James. James wants a screen, rejects it, tried to pass back out top. It's tipped oh. and knocked back into the backcourt, but Cosby tracks it down for Bluffton. Now throws it away to Sierra. BG finally possesses it. Turner ahead to Fry, no good. At the rim, ball out of bounds off Bluffton. Well, and all of that, Bluffton had almost expired the shot clock because Bowling Green never grabbed possession until Turner finally got it. That was a turnover waiting to happen yeah. via shot clock. Eventually, but BG did finally grab it. Now inbound at the rim, Plowden uh, loses the handle. One. And BG wanted to highlight there instead of looking at the defense because yeah. that was well defended. You're, you're exactly right. That was not there, and he just needed to, to inbound the basketball to the Maggi on the baseline. Well, they got the highlight dunk off the out-of-bounds under in the first half with Antoine Lillard. That time, they wanted Plowden to climb the ladder, but Lufton had it defended. Beavers with it now. Trailing by 23. Here's James inside the arc left point. Throws up an air ball. Picked out of the air, though, by his teammate. Good job by Colton Rose, who just checked in. Here's Wentling with a fadeaway left side. Yes. Good move. Jared Wentling, young man out of nearby Cary, Ohio. 54-33 Bowling Green. Here's Wiggins, left of the lane. Drives. Lost the ball. It's out of bounds. Off Bowling Green. Tell you what, Marlon Sierra is a, a big, strong kid, but we need to get him a uniform that fits. Uh, I, not just him. <laughs> there's a whole bunch I, of guys that's out here. That's what they're doing that, now. Have you I, I, that? I don't understand it. It's just like when I played basketball, our shorts were biggy, big, baggy. Now it's like they just keep getting smaller. And at least this year, DiMaggio doesn't have to roll his a couple of times because they're small enough as is. Yeah, these guys are wearing skin-tight unis now. 54-33, BG's lead. 13-10 to play in the ball game. Bluffton gets it out in the left corner to James. He'll work off a screen, turn his man around, get in the lane, but lose the ball. Uh-oh. Don't hurt him, Daquan. Don't hurt him, Daquan. 56-33, Bowling Green. And anytime that man's in the open yeah. floor, you're looking for a show. And he can provide it. They had the orange and brown scrimmage of week or so ago, and he and Antoine Lillard put on a dunk show for the folks. Bluffton with the basketball. Cosby will hoist it right side and fill it up for three. Jameel Cosby. 56-36, Bowling Green. 12.20 to play in the game. Here's Laster on the handle for BG. Stops and shoots over. James and knocks it in like the laster. Now, I know he made that shot, but that's bad offense. Yeah. That's no pass. I'm going to take my man off the dribble. Cosby trying to answer. Misses a runner at the elbow for Bluffton. 
Wiggins boarded in for Bowling Green, gave it to Turner. He'll speed into the front court and collide with a couple of men in purple. God. No shot there. He, he's so good and just so strong. <laughs> he's hard to knock off his point. Oh, my God. It, you know, it, 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 he, he, it's like he gets quicker when he has the basketball in his hands. And when he decides to go to the basket, he's going to get there. Second immediate time out of our second half as Bowling Green leads Bluffton 58 to 36. Todd Walker and Kirk Cowan with you here tonight from Stroh Center. And this Bluffton team has to replace a lot from last year. They lost their top scorer, Kevin Christie, who could really fill it up. He shot 41% from three and 92% at the line. And he got there a bunch. He averaged 18 points a game. They lost three of their top four scorers. So Coach Guy Neal trying to find some offensive punch to kind of fill in what he lost. And he could lean on Renner, but some other guys need to step up. And tonight, I don't know that we've seen anybody that's quite ready to do that. But I got to think from the Beavers' perspective tonight, they've seen some good things. Yeah, I I'm standing here and watching them. And, and granted, and not taking anything away from the young men, but it's just a different level of athleticism. But, but you, I've seen good things, that, you know, good, but they, they handle the basketball well, they shoot the basketball well. It's just a matter, like you said, it, with, with anything, the season is early. You're going to try to find that, 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 that second score for you because like, Renner, he's going to be the man. He's expected to do a lot this year. But, you know, finding the, the second and third option. And I think that there's some guys out there that looks like they have the capability of helping out. They're not going to be going up against a, a, a DiMaggio Wiggins, a Daquan Plowden, a Dylan Fry every night. So right. it's going to get a little easier. So the Falcons with a 58-36 lead here with 12 minutes to play in the ball game. Next Tuesday, BG will open the season for real. This is just an exhibition game. But the game Tuesday night with Tiffin will open the season officially before they head to their little East Coast road trip to St. John's and BCU. So Justin Turner is going to be at the line. Beavers will send out Brevin Dye along with Colton Rose, Jamil Cosby, Jared Wentling, and Michael Pickell. Turner, free throw good. Guys, we, <laughs> okay. They're, they're ready to go. That was a one and one opportunity. So Turner knocks in the first one. He's got nine points. 59-36 Bowling Green. Now 60-36. Again matching their biggest lead. This is a lineup for Bluffton we've not seen before. In fact, this is the first we've seen Michael Pickell, former Ashland Eagle, who's now at Bluffton. Here's Wentling topside, checked by Plowden. Five on the floor for Frickers for Bowling Green. Michael Laster, Justin Turner, Marlon Sierra, Daquan Plowden, and Janiah Gadsden. Gadsden in for the first time. Shot clock at five. Gonna have to launch from way downtown, and it's a brick for Wentling, and it scoots out of bounds. I tell you what, I've been watching the Falcons defensively the way we're playing ball screens. Last year, we made a conscious effort to try to show and be there when that player is coming off the screen. This year, it seems like we're trying to force them away from using the ball screen and, and, and try to get a, a trap of some sort. 11.25 to play in the game. Bowling Green by 24 as they come into the front court. Sierra gives it up high on the right to Plowden. Both teams have been in man-to-man -man the entire game. Here's Turner between the circles and an illegal screen on Janiah Gadsden. That's Justin's fault. He's got to give him time to get there and set. He, he's leaving a bit too early. He's putting Janiah in a bad position. He wants to set that screen, but the defensive player is moving. You know, So JT's got to give him a little bit more time to get there to set that screen. Falcons 60, Beavers 36. Here's Renner back in the game for Bluffton, high on the left, works off a screen, gets to the free throw line, gives it back to the screener, high on the left. Brevin Dye, and he fills it up. Brevin Dye makes it 60-39, Bowling Green. Michael Laster running the show for BEG. Crossover dribble, got caught in the air, but found Janiah Gadsden. Gadsden finds a man coming in the lane, Plowden. 
He's got the ball taken away by Renner. Plowden got poked in the poked eye somewhere exactly. in there. Meanwhile, Renner got it knocked away by Turner as he lost it on the way up. Turner kind of okey doped him. Now Turner the other oh way into the paint. And he'll draw two, draw a foul and shoot two. Yeah, that whole play right there, a good cut by um, Daquan, but like you said, he got poked in the eye. He just wasn't able to get to gather himself to get the basketball up on the hoop. Yeah, Turner kind of went at him like he was going to contest and then just <laughs> ducked under him and kind of got just a piece of the ball or caused Renner to fumble it around. Just, and then just, just enough to make him reconsider. Yep. Am I going to get a block or? Yeah, Turner then picked up that loose ball and came the other way and did what he does so well. That is attack the basket and get to the line. Subs for both teams here. We'll reset the lineups in a moment as Turner bangs on both free throws and he checks out. So Caleb Fields, Michael Laster, Antoine Lillard, Marlon Sierra, Janiah Gadsden for Bowling Green. Caleb, Caleb's another young man, Todd, in practice that just very active. I think also, you know, he made, made things happen, made plays. So. Michael Pickell running the show for Bluffton as he comes into the front court. He'll hand it off to Ronnie James. Also back in the game is Aaron Rich. He has it here near the free throw line, top side. Gave it up right wing to Renner, right through his hands and a turnover. Colton Rose rounding out the quintet of Bluffton Beavers. 62-39, BG by 23. Michael Laster saunters into the front court. Works off Gadsden's screen, trying to anyway. Does to the left elbow, shoots that lefty jumper and missed it. Bad shot. Here come the Beavers off the rebound by Pickell, dropped it back to James. Ronnie James gave it back to Pickell, left side. He'll bring it out top, guarded by Laster. Nothing there, tried to pass. Laster with the quick hands and the steal, moves to the basket, scores and then he's fouled. <laughs> And, and right there, that's good. Good job of making up for, for the last shot because, like I said, you, you can't bring the basketball up the court. No pass, no nothing off the dribble. Take a jump shot and contest the jump shot. So good job of getting down there at the defensive end, getting his hand in the passing lane for the steal, and, and now for the possible three-point play. So Michael Laster, young man out of uh, New York City, will step to the line. Left hands one in the air and right through there. Laster now with nine points. BG 65-39, their biggest lead of the night. Falcons a little uh, three-quarter court press action there. Bluffton fights their way through it. Aaron Rich working topside, handoff to Renner. Renner finds Justice Doughty left elbow. Back out top to Renner, 12 to shoot. Guarded by Lillard, Renner works left, now attacks the lane. Got in the air, lost that ball. Fell off to Laster, Bowling Green. Scoop pass, Lillard attacking the rim and missing. Left and rebound, Andrew Renner. Renner gives it up to James. Comes up the left sideline into the wing. Feeds Aaron Rich. Left baseline guarded by Gadsden. Little wraparound pass to Renner. Renner looking for somewhere to go. Got bailed out by Lillard to reach it in and foul it yeah. in there. Right there, Twan just needed to hold, stand his ground, hands up, make him take a contested shot instead of reaching it out. He bailed him out. So Renner will shoot a pair. Renner had 10 at halftime, has scored just one in the second half thus far, now two. 8.49 to play, Bowling Green 65 and Bluffton 40. Renner played for Coach Sean Allen at Bath High School in Lima. In the uh, rugged Western Buckeye League. Renner makes them both. 65-41. BG's lead is 24. Little three-quarter court press by Bluffton. Falcons patiently pass a cross court and then have Laster dribble into the front court. Laster with Sierra screening for him topside will launch that triple and miss. Loose ball, rebounding around to Sierra for BG. Underneath Plowden forces it up and scores it with the contact. And right there, good offensive rebound. 
by Marlon getting that, his hand on that basketball. Good job of making the extra pass to Daquan. Good job of Daquan taking the contact and going up. Fouled by Ronnie James. And, and, and right now, you know, last year, in the last three possession, just, just bad offense, just one and one him trying to do too much. That, that three-point shot wasn't there. It, he needs to move the basketball around, realizing that you move the ball around, it's going to come back to you. Well, Coach Huger's talking to him right now. I'm sure it's some derivative of what you just said. Maybe a little more forceful. Missed rebound, or missed free throw, rebound by Bowling Green, and then Sierra's fouled. See, I told you, I, I just, I watching that young man practice, he's, he's just one of those guys just always seem to be in the right place at the right time. Foul was on Renner. Timeout by Bluffton with 8.25 to play. Well, that'll become the full media timeout with BG up 67 to 41. Marlon Sierra hails from Miami, Florida, but he was playing his uh, junior college ball at Western Nebraska Community College. That's the, that's the land of Brent Clayson. Exactly, it? that's the uh, cowboy. And Marlon averaged 12 points and seven boards last year. You know, it, it's so funny the places these the the, the sports takes the sport takes you. It, you know, here's a kid in, in, in Miami, Florida, and somehow, somehow ends up in Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. Really, and, and that's, with all due respect to Western Nebraska Community College, that's a place you don't usually, you know, you might drive by it by accident. Ex ex you, you, know, got, you got lost. Or you, you know, you're doing one of those cross-country family trips, and you decide we're going to drive across the country, and that necessitates going through Nebraska, you know. <laughs> But yeah, to actually stop there, uh, yeah. be there, live there. Exactly. A whole it, different it, thing. It's just, it's just amazing. Falcon 67, Bluffton 41. Beavers coach Guy Neal, now in his 30th year at Bluffton, their all time winningest coach. It isn't that, it, 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 it surprises me anymore when you say a coach is somewhere for 30 years. Yeah. It, 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 it amazes me because I, I'm sure he's had some some success at, at Bluffton where he's oh, yeah. had, you know, won, won a lot of games where someone comes back and call him to move on and go somewhere else. And, it, you know, it, 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 it's it's a rarity for, for a, 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 a sport a head coach to be at one place for that many years. And, and I'm sure he's had down years, and I credit the university for allowing him to, to get the program back from a down year to where to, to being competitive and so forth. So Marlon Sierra will be at the line to shoot a pair for BGSU. Free throw good. Sierra now with four points. He had a three-point play earlier in the ballgame. And makes them both. BG with the lead, 69-41. This is their biggest lead of the night now. Beavers fight into the front court with Des Brown on the handle. Now between the circles, here's James, drives right, hands it off to Renner. He'll come out top, give it to Brown, 10 to shoot. Brown dribbling right. Now step back out top to Dowdy, five to shoot to the right wing. Brown, he'll fire a triple and miss. Oh. Renner crashes in, knocks the ball free, and picks it up for Bluffton. Now he's in trouble. Got it out top to Dowdy. Pass fake and a drive, kick to the right corner. Brown is open. Three ball missed. Plowden grabs the board for Bowling Green. Falcons with a 69-41 lead. Top here is DiMaggio Wiggins. Fry left to the point with 12 to shoot. Works to his right, throws back to the left wing. Cloud feeds DiMaggio off the left block. Works into a little shot there, no good. But Sierra's got a rebound. BG, a fresh shot clock. If we were in the NBA, they'd only have 14 seconds, but we're in college, so they get the full 30. Dylan Fry with it. BG up 69-41. Pass inside, Sierra to Wiggins, works that left hand, can't get it to fall, but he's fouled by Isaiah Taylor. Two gonna... shots coming for DiMaggio Wiggins. And a media timeout first. It's 7.02 to play. 
69-41, Bowling Green. And right there again, you see Sierra, he's, he's offensive boards, moving the basketball, getting it around, getting the basketball at the top of the key, making the correct play because he's, he had DiMaggio, DiMaggio had the defender pinned behind him underneath the basket, and, and he made the right pass. So, and, and I'm gonna keep singing this young man's praises. I think, like I said, he, he's gonna be one that's gonna help us this year. As for the Bluffton Beavers, they have a scrimmage coming up Tuesday at Wittenberg, and then they open the season for real um, Friday, November 16th. That's two weeks from tomorrow when they play in an event at Allegheny College. They'll play Chatham on Friday the 16th and University of Pittsburgh Greensburg on Saturday the 17th. And their conference opener will be Saturday, December 1st at Transylvania. In the Heartland Conference. As for Bowling Green, the Falcons' MAC opener will be at Kent State as you look ahead to the first week of January. January 5, the Falcons will visit Kent State. MAC home opener is January 8th with Ohio. The Falcons' non conference schedule sets up with Tiffin at home, at St. John's, at VCU. North Carolina Central at home, and then Hampton in Detroit. Then the very next day, Loyola, Maryland, or Detroit at that same event. November 25th, home for Drexel. Then at Hartford, at Cleveland State. Home for Green Bay, Findlay, Western Carolina, and Tennessee Martin to end the non-conference schedule from December 8th through December 30th. And then it's into the Mid-American Conference schedule for the Falcons once January rolls around. 7.02 to play in this one. Bully Green in control, 69-41. DiMaggio Wiggins will be shooting a pair when we resume action here. DiMaggio with 15 points tonight. At the free throw line, he is five out of six. Missed that one. That was flat. Had no, didn't even get it over above the rim. Meanwhile, just as Dowdy out for Bluffton, replacing him as Jared Wentling. DiMaggio, second free throw, good. 70-41, this is Bowling Green's biggest lead. Falcons with some pressure here, Casey. Yeah, yeah I'm sure coach just wants to work on it. Do it in practice, but trying to get some, some live action. Into the left corner for Wentling's triple. It's no good for Bluffton. Sierra had the ball knocked away, but Fry found it for Bowling Green and fed it ahead to Fields. Bluffton covered up defensively. So now BG will run the offense, and that means get it to Wiggins. Double teamed, pass tipped, not a good one. Bad and pass. Caught by Bluffton by Wentling. And right there, DiMaggio, he's got a fake low pass high or fake high pass low. The defenders had their hands up, sending the double team at him, and he threw the ball right in their hands. Here's James dribbling through the baseline and pitching it out to Renner. Left point, three ball, no. Sierra fighting for the rebound. It comes off to Wiggins instead. Dylan Fry will bring it into the front court. Attack to the elbow, step back, shoot, and miss. Rebound for Bluffton, that's Andrew Renner. 70-41, BG. Beavers into the front court. This is Des Brown with it. Gives it up to Taylor. He'll give it back to Brown, right corner. Works baseline, behind the back pass to Taylor. He'll launch a triple and no. Rebound foul on Bluffton. Right now, I don't like the Falcons. We're watching, everyone's standing, we're standing. We're reacting to them offensively instead of having them react to us defensively. We got it, you know, getting, maybe guys are a little tired or just out of it now, but. Yeah, that was like a zombie possession. Yeah, it, it, it's just like, you know, they're making the extra pass. Oh, I got to get to the ball. Instead of us being there when they make the catch, forcing them to make the pass. So Marlon Sierra steps back to the stripe, where he is three out of three tonight. Bowling Green 70, Bluffton 41. Got it to go. Sub, that is Jared Kennard, a freshman who checks into the lineup. Sierra has bumped the lead to 30, and now 31. And he will exit in favor of Matisse Kulachkovskis. 
I'm thinking they had to think that Sierra was a guard when they ordered that uniform. 72-41, <laughs> Bowling Green. Large the ball turnover. away. Or just lost there by Des Brown. Good job by Dylan Fry. Yeah, you're exactly right, Dylan. Just being in the passing lane forced Bluffton to throw the basketball out of bounds, but that was also good on-ball pressure by um, Fields, Caleb Fields. Hopkins with the basketball and a 31-point lead with five and a half minutes to go. Also, Taylor Matos has checked in for BG. This is Caleb Fields on the take, right of the lane to the window and good. Caleb Fields, his first points tonight. A freshman out of Cape May Courthouse, New Jersey. And he just plays. He's not forcing anything, not trying to do too much. He's just letting the game come to him. I think, like I said, he's going to be another one that I expect a lot of big good things from. 74-41 BG, Ooh. and now Renner dribbled down to the baseline and kind of got bailed out there by Plowden, who was trying to recover and just couldn't hold off from leaning into him there. Foul on Daquan. 5.03 to play. Beavers with the basketball. There's a pass knocked away by Daquan Plowden, and he and Renner battling for that loose ball. Yeah, right there, good job by Daquan getting his hands on the basketball, and you know he he had his eyes open. He was trying to get his hand on that basketball. I think they called a foul on yeah. Renner. Yes, yeah. and that was the correct call. But uh, Renner was not going to let Daquan get another showtime. Exactly, and that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what that was. It's like either you're not getting the basketball. I don't care if I have to foul you. Yeah. You're not going to dunk on us again. And uh, you know, frankly, you like seeing that. Yeah, you're if right. You're, if you're a Bluffton guy, I mean, you want to see him fight that there. Plowden will have to earn it at the line over the one and one, I believe, or is it two shot? That's two shot time. Daquan misses the free throw. He had been five of five at the stripe in the first half. Renner checks out as Bluffton gets Jamil Cosby in also for Ronnie James. Loudon, deliberate at the line, gets the kind roll on the second free throw for 12 points now in the game, 75-41 BG. Falcons a little bit of pressure, Bluffton fights through it into the front court. Nice look ahead by Wentling to Carter Kennard. And now the Beavers have set it up. Under five minutes to play in the ball game, here is a three out of the right corner, good for Des Brown. <laughs> Second triple of the second half, 75-44 Bowling Green. Dylan Fry barking out the play to his teammate. Works to the left point, throws it back on top to Kulachkovskis. He'll drive and give it up to Plowden. Now back to Fry between the circles. Dylan moves right, now to his left. Pass it out top for Plowden. Puts it on the floor, swoops to the basket, overlaid it off the window, and Matos commits the rebound foul for Bowling Green. Yeah, I think Daquan, good, strong take to the basket, but I think he last lost the basketball going up. And with 4-12 to play, Bowling Green gonna get Ethan Good into the ball game. Also, checking in is DeAndre Austin. Four twelve to go. BG 75, Bluffton 44. We will talk with Coach Huger after the game. Don't know if we'll still be on the video stream or not. We will be on the video board here at Stro Center. Ethan Good and Matos on the right side trying to defend Des Brown and Matos yeah, with a reach foul. Yeah, silly foul. He's got to move his feet, can't reach in. And the last media timeout comes with 3.57 to play. And Bowling Green with a 75-44 lead. So right now you're gonna see pretty much both teams reaching a little farther down the roster here for the last four minutes or so. And this is the type of game where you're you're gonna get those you know you're gonna get Ethan Good some minutes and so forth. So 
it, the Falcons did exactly what they needed to do, build a, a, a good lead, you know, so that they can be okay. Allow those guys to get some time. So Falcons and Beavers about to commence, I should say advance the, to the last four minutes of this exhibition game. Green will have a couple more days of practice as far as good hard practice days before Tuesday's season opener. The Tiffin Dragons are handing out pizza here at Stroh Center. That's all the excitement is about. My kid somehow seems to get one every time he's here. <laughs> he had dinner. I don't know why he's jumping around for pizza. Look, now they're trying to pawn it off. They're offering people around them if they want some because they know they can't eat it all. Well, if they're going to hand out free pizza, you're going to try to get it. You're That's right. the point. I guess you're right. <laughs> Look, they're, I'm sitting now here. They're in their benevolence, they're offering it to everybody around them. Exactly. <laughs> Falcons five on the floor for Frickers. Now DeAndre Austin, Caleb Fields, Ethan Good. Matisse Kulachkovskis and Taylor Matos. And I believe we're debating on whether this should be a one and one here for Bluffton. We are going to shoot the one. Okay. At the line is Des Brown. Free throw is good. Brown averaged four points a game last year as a sophomore. 84% free throw shooter last year, and he's 100% there. And Brown will check out of the game. Lufton with Jamil Cosby. Along with Michael Pickell, also Jared Wentling, Jared Kennard, and Carter Kennard. Hawkins with Fields running the show off top. He will shoot a pull up three and miss it. But drew a foul. Drew that foul. I, I guess I'm just old school. I'm not a big fan of the dribble, dribble, and off the jump, sh you know, off right. the dribble jump shot, contested jump shots at that. You know, right there, he was fortunate he drew the foul, but use take advantage of our size. We're, 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 we're bigger than them in the post. Get the basketball inside, they're gonna collapse, they kick it out, then you take that shot. Caleb Fields out of New Jersey, Wildwood Catholic, averaged 21 points a game last year. Missed the first one, made the second one for three points tonight. Bluffton with another sub here as they get Cam Singleton into the ball game. He's a sophomore out of Defiance High School. And two out of three for Caleb Fields. Bumps the Bowling Green lead to 77-46. So Cosby with the ball for Bluffton with 3.30 to play. Moves it out top for Jared Wentling. He'll dribble into the lane and kick it to the left corner. Carter Kennard misfires, but it's picked off by Bluffton by Pickell. Found Jared Wentling. He gets it back to Carter Kennard out in the left wing. They'll come out top, feed it to Cosby, left of the point. Jamil Cosby pass out top to Wentling. Wants three, air ball. And Carter Kennard got a hand on it, but couldn't retrieve it before it went into the Bluffton bench. All right there, Matisse got lucky because he just assumed that basketball was going to come to him. He has, you have to go after the basketball. Can't assume anything on the basketball court. Three minutes to play. Dale Smith checks in for Bluffton, a freshman out of Western Reserve High School. 77-46 BG. There's DeAndre Austin out top for the Falcons. Hand off to Fields. Bounces it to Matos. Wheels it and pitches it out top. 
who wants post this for three. And it's almost like I know what I'm talking about, Todd. We got an inside touch, the defense collapse, he kicks it back out, and it's a, a wide open jump shot. 80-46, Bowling Green as DeAndre Austin tips that ball out of bounds. Two minutes, 34 seconds to play. Falcons in control here in this exhibition game. Never trailed in the game. Here's Carter Kennard with the take and a leave for a teammate. Open three missed by Piquel. Underneath stick back, no good by Cam Singleton. Now it's thrown up at the rim by Dale Smith. He misses. DeAndre Austin boards it for Bowling Green and brings it into the front court. 80-46, Falcons with the lead. 2-10 to play in the game. Here's DeAndre Austin passing between the circles to Matisse. Out on the high right to Good, feeds Matos. Right block, spins in the baseline. Soft shot, got to go. Taylor Matos, 82-46, Bowling Green. Their biggest lead of the night, and we're under two minutes to play. Minute 50 to play, and now. I thought he traveled before he picked up that foul. Caleb Fields with the contest there on the drive, picks up the foul and sends Bluffton's Michael Piquel to the free throw line. where he will shoot free throws with a minute 49 to go. The one and one, first one is good. Thus he earns the bonus. First point of the night for the Dayton, Ohio native. 82-47, Bowling Green's lead. 82-48. Janaya Gadsden in the lineup for Bowling Green, replacing Tyler Matos. No, nope, actually, nope, replacing Field. Caleb Fields. I assumed it would be Matos as they both went toward the bench, but actually Fields checked out. Minute 45 left, BG by 34. Matos, top of the circle, gives it up to Matisse. Matisse working to the right-hand dribble. Step back triple, no good. Gadsden grabs the board for Bowling Green, and he is fouled underneath. Boy, poor Michael Piquel, six yeah. foot one, trying to battle Janiah Gadsden, who is a bull of a young man at yeah. six foot ten. You're exactly right. Gadsden will have to earn it at the free throw line, which is an iffy proposition. Oh, he's the back. <laughs> they all count. You're exactly right. That's why they put the backboard up That's there right. to be, for well it to be it. used. 83-48. Minute 28 to go. And then he strokes that one. There you go. He was just calibrating things. 84-48, BG by 36 with a minute 20 to play. Is this a zone here? Um, yeah. Yeah, two three zone for Bowling Green. Bluffton missed shot there by Jared Kennard. Kulachkovskis picks it off for Bowling Green. Brings it up, hands it to DeAndre Austin. Austin works to the right point. One minute to play. Kulash Kosas left wing and an offensive foul on Janai. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, he's a bull. Sometimes in the proverbial China shop right You're there. Exactly right. He's just a young, he's still learning how to use that body. 84-48, Bowling Green with the lead. Here's a three from the left point. Carter Kennard misses for Bluffton. Ethan Good grabs the rebound for Bowling Green. He'll come into the front court. He's looking to shoot. Can't believe he didn't shoot. We talked about this before the game. Here's Austin driving. He's banged around, and he'll go to the free throw line. You and Ethan spoke about him taking a shot? Well, last year in the exhibition game, uh, he launched okay. a, a, an epic long one from about that spot on the floor. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't but, let fly there. But he, he's a coachable kid, though. He, he, sure. He's not going to just take a bad shot to take a bad shot. Free throw good for DeAndre Austin. He made the pass, and he, he, he got his running mate, you know, his bench mates, yep. a, a, an opportunity to score. DeAndre, uh, now a senior on a Warrensville Heights, makes both free throws. 86-48, Bowling Green. Biggest spread of the night. At about nine seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock now. Bluffton likely their final possession of the night. 
Pakel gives it up out top. They whip it to the left side to Kennard into the post. Pass out of there, get it to the right side. Good ball movement here against the BG zone. Drive inside and Austin reaching and fouling Pakel with 14.6. You're exactly right. Good job at Bluffton, I think, moving the basketball around. And the Falcons, they were there for, for every catch, every pass. And then right there, just a bad job of uh, uh, DeAndre Fallon reaching in. Pakel will shoot two for the Beavers. 86-48 Bowling Green. Now 86-49 with 14.6 seconds to play. Second one coming. Got it. 86-50. BG will likely get the final look here. Or will they nope. even bother? They not will not. They're going to shoot it. Final score in this exhibition game at Stroh Center. Our Biotest final score. Bowling Green 86 and Bluffton 50. Thanks for joining us on this live stream tonight. For my partner, Kirk Cowan, this is Todd Walker wishing you a good night from Bowling Green.